and Dylan. Hmm. It really kind of saved my life and changed it. You still came out of prison? For the better, which is crazy. I'm living north side of Chicago. Oh, look at that crib. That is a nice looking crib. I'm loving it. Nice little two bedroom spot. I am still on parole. Still have to do all the random drug tests. Even though I'm home, I'm not totally free. But hopefully, they'll let me off soon. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. That's how you get your physique. He's eating healthy. I've been working six, seven days a week marketing for a company we specialize in renewable energy products. Love to see it. Get these people back out into society. Don't let them be bums sitting at home uh, asking the government for money kind of thing. Like, yeah, it's 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 a good thing. I actually am making more money now than I was making selling. If I would have known that this was a thing, I would have never went to prison. This is the thing. It is a thing, but you need to know the right people at the right time, be at the right spot at the right time to get those jobs. It is actually not that easy because you wouldn't have met those people that you were hanging around with that were bad influence in the first place if you knew or had the connections to have a better job. It isn't that easy. It's just that everything's aligned right now for where you're gonna have a better life now because you've met the right people and that is great. He's trying his Cajun <laughs> seasoning. I don't know what he was trying, but I hope it's tasty. Now, there's a mystery woman walking up the stairs and we all hope and pray that it's not Heather. Hmm. You guys try to be silly. Oh, we're the sea, sweetheart. Oh my God, what at your place. This is yeah. mama. I was just making dinner. I got Ooh. some wine. Ooh. Now that is one nice looking lady. She looks amazing. Let me help you here. I'm not talking to Heather. Okay, and I, I, I gotta to... ask. You know, I worry. We all I... oh, put it through the crack and get out of my life. I That's exactly what happened. When she said that she wasn't playing and neither was he apparently. I don't have any animosity towards Heather. She was there for me in a time when I needed her. And I'll love her forever for that. Mmm. That's kind of sweet, but at the same time, wow. It's like, basically he's got a very forgiving heart, but that's, wow. He's been through a whole roller co coaster because now, when he's in the apartment, that that's two months after his release, he only spent two days with, the, with uh, Heather. Only two days. So yeah, this is interesting. Heather, why are you late again? Like, didn't you learn from the DMV experience to not be late? What was it this time? Was it makeup again? Like, what? Why are you late everywhere you go? Like, this is crazy. Ah. Since Dylan and I broke up, I've just been focused on rebuilding my life. I have been building this business. Mostly sexy content, but just content creation. First of all, I'm wondering, so they're broken up now and you still have his five five tattoos with his name all over your body, like, how? Okay. And I feel like the sky is the limit. He was just very distant. He would touch me and I wouldn't feel like the same passion that I felt. I don't know what Heather was expecting. That's what I'm trying, that the whole time I'm trying to figure out what was this woman expecting from this man? He came out, he's all bamboozled, everything's new, everything. Whew. Then you have a whole girlfriend who's all clingy, and then you have to stay with her aunt and stuff like that. It's like all over the place. Also, that's really sad for the aunt. She opened up her home, she was like, finally, I'm gonna get some people to talk to. And then all of a sudden, it was like, and then what happened to Heather? Where did she go? Did she go to live back with Aunt Diane? Because her house was flooded, remember? That's why her and Dylan didn't go to her house first. Like, what happened with that? I don't know. It's not really our business. But I, in any case, it's just I'm just saying it because you make life so difficult with some of these erratic things that you do and decisions that you make. Like, And even now in the confessional, she's standing in it ten toes. She's like, yup, I was right. And I don't know why he was so distant. Maybe because you were too much. And I hope that she watches this thing back and it's like, 
yeah i probably was tripping a little bit i was i probably was doing too much i really hope so because this ain't the way mm -mm. when i was visiting him in prison i wouldn't have been so emotionally triggered good oh but dylan definitely took advantage of me how when he was in prison he's been calling me his wife this whole yeah yeah he's calling you his wife Words are cheap. I can call anybody uh, anything. That doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean it's factual. That doesn't mean it's true. Like that's a bit, that's a little bit crazy. Come on. I'm, and then he just discarded me when he was done with me. No, you discarded him when you were done with him. That's actually how it went. Don't try and reverse the script. This is what happened. You literally said, put my phone in the thing and get out of my lap with skirt and you were gone. So it's actually the other way around. And how she sees it the other way around is baffling to me. I don't get that. I don't wish anything bad for anyone, but I'm still a little salty that I wasted so much. I mean, she pretty though. She's she, she's a model, by the way. She's a model, so much time. There's absolutely no chance that I would ever get back together with Dylan Ooh. ever again. We like that. Um, Great. Ever. Yeah, it's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. We cool. We cool over here. Nobody is stressed about that whatsoever. That is great. I don't know how this storyline is gonna go further. In fact, this episode I was like, is this not like some kind of season finale type thing? Because everything was kind of coming to an end, pretty much, with all the couples. Uh, Shonda and Tyrese are MIA, but we also know that that pretty much ended. So a lot of the couples, I don't know where they're gonna leave that. I'm pretty sure they're gonna bring back life after lockup because that's popping off as well. But these couples. Hmm, not many of them are surviving right right now, which is interesting. By the way, if you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit bomb stomp as soon to that subscribe button. Comment because I really want to know what you think. Like because you always like this video and hit the notification bell while you're at it. I'll see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Daily videos up in here. In the meantime, make time for glorious life. It's time to start what? Living it right. God bless.